So I have already opened this chest with my sorceress and went and opened it with two other characters. And now I come back to my sorceress and this is actually, I can open this again. This is kind of crazy. What's up everybody, War here. Welcome back to the channel. So we got about three and a half minutes guys until the hell tide comes. And in this video, we wanna talk about the big changes that happened uh, to the game. So let me actually just like close out of a lot of this stuff. Um, there's a big hot fix that came to Diablo this C or today from Adam. They posted it and they changed a lot of the things that came, uh, with living steals in hell ties. Now I'm sure you guys have already seen some of these videos, but we, of course we got to make one and give our, our thoughts. So the big change initially is living steals in world tier three are going to be increased from one to two. And then there's the additional chance, which is a very low chance, to get one to two extras every time you open up a Living Steel chest. In World Tier 4, we go from three to five. And then there's an additional chance for five extras. Before, you used to get three, and then the chance for extras was two more for a total of five. And then another thing that they added was is that any chest that you open is going to automatically give you one Living Steel. This is a huge, huge change. So we got about two and a half minutes or so until the hell tides actually start and then we are going to just do the full hour and we're going to see how many we get and then we're going to talk about it on the back end just to kind of do some compare and contrast of all the numbers and everything that's kind of happening with the hell tide and just kind of showcasing like how big of a change this is going to be my thoughts on this whether this is going to be very very good for the game or not and you know everything that comes with it now additionally they did fix where living uh, steel chests weren't spawning. This was a huge problem in Diablo 4, where like you would finally get the 300, you would go to the spot, and he's not there, so you got to like teleport in and out and all this stuff. They fixed that, which is fantastic. Um, and then one other thing that they did was is that some kind of error code fix and then the seasonal journey fix. So they did do this really big fix, and we got to see the changes. So we're going to see how many that we can get within the hour. Now, I want to talk about numbers real quick. Um, and just see, roughly give you a rundown. So now typically in a hell tide where you're able to only get six, because normally there's only two chests that spawn and they do not change over like the mystery chests do. So you're only able to get six in total. This was before. Okay. Now, of course there's the one section of the map, which is right here. If the hell tide spawns, then there's three chests that automatically spawn and they do not move. So that gives you an opportunity to get nine. However, there is the top of the hour change. So as an example, the hell tide is about to go live. And then let's say that you were able to get you were able to get the hell tide to start at 9 4 or 10 45, and you open both chests at eleven o'clock then the chest would move and you'd be able to open this, the same two chests again, which would give you more. Now that is a very, just, you know, very rare occurrence. It's not super rare, but it doesn't happen as often as we would like. So typically we have to go by the numbers, which is always six per hell tide. So now with just the flat number change going from three to five, now we're getting 10 per hell tide at a bare minimum. So we're going to go through and just see how many that we can get. I have no living steals here. So now we are going to go farm the Helltide and get this thing busting. So we're going to be only able to open up two of these. So we're going to we're going to see. Now here is one big thing that um, my community brought up as far as doing this as a solo player compared to a party or a player doing it in group. So as you just guys saw that we picked up those two extra piles of cinders. When you're playing solo and your teammates are running around killing other mobs, those aren't going to be there, right? All right, here we go. Our very first Living Steel, guys. We're at 595 at 10 minutes in. So we're going to open up our first one, and let's see if we get lucky and we can get 10. This would be really sweet. Let's see if we can get lucky. Okay, nope, we got five. So that's awesome. And as you guys can see that, like, they took away the, like, the little boss, the little mini boss that normally spawns there, which... I guess it's a cool thing. I don't know if it was necessary, but if it was causing issues, then I definitely understand why they took that away. So let's go ahead and pop this. Hopefully we can we can get the uh, we can get ten. Nope, we got five that time, so we got ten already to go. That's pretty sweet. So now 
Real quick, we got 47 minutes or 48 minutes left in the Helltide. So, this allows us to do a lot of things. Because it's 11.12 p.m. EST at the time of filming this video, the two chests were where our teammate is now and where I am here. The chests are not going to move like the mystery chests do. So, in theory, we're done. We got 10 living seals. That gives us two Grigor fights, which allows us to have one Durial fight every other hour which is a significant increase over what it was before. But now, because any chest that we open, like this tortured gift of jewelry, any chest that we open is gonna give us one cinder. So now here's where things can get interesting. We have plenty of time here. So there's a number of different strategies that we can use, and I'm gonna kind of talk about them as we're just killing, because I wanna to try to rack up some more cinders. So the one strategy at this point would be to farm up as much cinders as we can. And then we're going to open all of our normal chests. Okay. If we farmed up another, let's say 600 as 75. Uh, oh, we got an event here that I didn't even realize. As 75 per, that's going to allow us to get what? Basically five maybe six at, at the most six more living steels so that gives us 600 or 16 right and we since we have 45 minutes we can actually make that more right we could probably farm another 10 cinders at a minimum opening just normal chests at 75 right however there's the other strategy which was what we've used in the past and one that i suggested to you guys in another video which is swapping characters because when you swap characters, the two chests that we just opened of Living Seal are going to be there for that character because the chests are character specific. Okay? Now, in hindsight, that's probably going to be the best strategy. So what I am going to do right now is I'm just going to go ahead and swap characters. Um, but what we are going to do is we are going to farm and just rack these up. Now, if you decide to rack up the cinders, again, I got to make this known because I had to pin the comment in the title. There is a small chance when you swap characters that you can lose all of your cinders. So be wary of that. So I would probably tell you that if you are going to swap cinders, that the best way to do this is to just swap as soon as you're done opening both. So farm 600, open both chests, and then swap characters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap characters because this is going to be the way to farm the most cinders. So I'm going to go to town. I'm going to swap characters and I'm going to rejoin up with my team and we're just going to farm. Oh my god, look at this guy. Oh my god, he just destroyed all these creatures. Holy crap, dude. Thanks for the cinders, bro. Alright, second character opening Torture Gift of Living Steel. Let's see if we get lucky and get 10. Nope, we got 5 again. That's okay. Alright, here we go. Barbarian opening the second Torture Steel. We got 31 minutes left to go in the hell time. And we got 5 more. All right, here we go. First one from our Necromancer opening. Let's see if we can get 10. Let's see if we get 10. Nope, we got five again. That's okay, though. All right, here we go. Necromancer on opening the sixth chest, which will give us 30 total. Unless we get 10. Nope, we only got five. That's okay. Wait a second. Wait, what? Cut the music. Hold up. I just swapped back to my original character and I can reopen the chest. Wait, what? Okay, this is huge. This is huge. So I've already opened. You were right, Afghan. You were right. So I have already opened this chest with my sorceress and went and opened it with two other characters. And now I come back to my sorceress and this is actually. I can open this again. This is kind of crazy. All right, here we go. Sork opening the not intended chest for another amount of living seals with 10 minutes to go. And we got five more. So, guys, we just finished the full hell tide. And this is how many living seals we got from doing one full hour of a hell tide. So, there's going to be a lot of math that we're going to go over and just kind of talk about everything uh, with this. So I was able to, um, one, two, three, four, five, because this is going to be an oddball number. So I was effectively able to, in one hour, with switching 
between three characters, I was able to farm 34 in total living steals. Now, this five extra is what you guys saw previously in the video with that bug chest. I don't think that that, that thing is intended. Um, but because it is there in the game, we decided to get the free uh, five living steals from it, which brings us to a total of 39 living steals in one uh, hell tide, you know, one hour of hell tide. So when we talk about some of the math here, um, if we were to even just split this, right? So having 30 of these is going to give us what? Two, four, six going to give us six. Grigor runs, which is effectively one run against Dariel, which gives us three total runs against Dariel in one Helltide. Now, if you have any more sitting around like I do in here, you guys see I have a crap ton um, of living seals. Uh, you, obviously, you can add those, but if we just take it as if you had absolutely zero, doing this strategy where you can switch between characters and then just farm, I got 39 in total, which is what uh two four six it's seven total gragor runs which is still only three durial fights which is actually pretty good which equates to about 1.5 durial fi uh, fights per hour um without anything else so with the new buff if you weren't switching characters even playing in a group you can only get 10 living steals from two living steel chests then all you can do is open up normal chests so let's say on average that you're able to take about 20 minutes on average to farm 600 it should take you less than that it should take you somewhere around 10 minutes um or if you're a god gamer like we had a bunch of comments i think in the last video that we talked about this i got a shout out to all those god gamers i think they were farming about seven eight hundred cinders they said in about five minutes i'm not sure how they were doing that i would love the strats on that but they're god gamers and i'm not so shout out to all you god gamers um so you can open two chests which give you 10 and then all you have left is <clears throat> normal chests that you can open now, there's only so many on the uh, any in, in it, inside any given Helltide. So I would equate probably if it took you about 15 minutes on average to farm 600, open two chests, that gives you 45 minutes again. So on average, if you're still farming about 600 every 15 minutes without any delay, uh, then that's another, what, 6, 12, that's 1,800 senders divided by 75, which allows you to open 24. It's actually a little bit less than that because there's not that many chests. So in reality, I'm probably going to add another 15 chests. So that probably gives you about 25 more, right? So you could probably, you know, maybe farm this as a solo in one full hour if you're opening individual chests. Although I don't think that there, there's 25 chests that you can actually open. So it's probably going to look something more like this where you're farming about 25 on average. I think that's pretty, like a pretty solid number given the amount of chests that are actually on there. However, it might it might even be somewhere like this where you're only averaging 20. That might be the better number, is getting 20, opening 10 chests. This is probably just gonna be more of an average as a solo player. I mean, in the past, we took one hour to farm 39, where in the past on average, you were only able to get six. So you, it would take you literally a full day, if not a day and a half of farming to equate to this. And we just did it in one hour. So I do think that this buff is very good cons considering the only 2% drop rate of actual Uber uniques. If you guys have been around the streams, we have done uh, over 100 free Doriel runs. And we, we got plenty more to do, especially with this buff. And we've only found about three Uber uniques in the 110, 150 runs that we've actually done. So, in the hindsight, first impressions, I think this is going to be good for the game. <clears throat> the longevity of it is going to be fine. It just allows you to do more and more Durial runs. It gives even more purpose back to Hell Tides because now we're actually able to farm a sufficient amount. Even if you're not switching characters, getting 20 is still really, really good. I mean, 20 is fantastic. 20, 25 is still really good as a solo player. So... In the end, I think this is pretty good, guys. Like the video. I want you guys to comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. I know this video was a bit longer than normal, but I think this is a really good talking point for the game. And this is a game changer. I mean, for people even in the Eternal Realm that like gave up on trying to get an Uber Unique or farming because 
how often the hell tides spawn every other hour and how many you can actually get the math just didn't work out so i think i think this is better i want your guys' thoughts down in the comments below don't forget to subscribe guys and as always stay gaming and happy hunting Dario. catch you guys in the next one peace